What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix infinite shader installs inside of Call of Duty Black Ops Call of War. This error is similar to the one that we got in Modern Warfare, and the fixes are basically the same. Number one, open up your Blizzard launcher and launch up the game if it's not already running. Simply wait for the game to start up and then head into the settings menu. I of course don't have shaders installing currently, but assuming that yours are installing and they're stuck somewhere along the line, head across to the settings, graphics tab and scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to click the restart shaders compilation button and then simply click restart. Your game will restart the shader install, but while this is happening, quickly quit out to the desktop and close the game entirely. Then simply click play in Blizzard once again and relaunch the game. Now that you're on the main menu again, simply wait here, don't click anything until these shaders have finished installing. Otherwise, if they're still frozen, click on the campaign button and then you'll see this here. Click play anyway. Now I'll be taken to here. Shader installation is paused. Now what we have to do is click back and then wait for the shaders to continue once again. This should restart it, but continue it from the same place in the process. It's as easy as that. Now, if it's progressing, that's good. Otherwise, if you're still getting issues, quit out of the game and head back to the Blizzard launcher. Click options and then scan and repair. After this is done, relaunch the game and then possibly restart the shader installation. Wait for it to complete on the main menu after restarting the game and hopefully it'll work. If you're still having issues, then there's one last fix that I've heard of. Hold start and press E to open up a new file browser. Head across to Documents and then find Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Open it up and locate the Player folder. All you have to do is simply rename this folder to something like 1, just so that the game doesn't find it and it has to regenerate all of the config files and the rest. It's as simple as that. Mine of course is working, so I'll leave it as just Player. Now when I launch up the game, everything should be working fine, it'll regenerate that folder and hopefully you get past where you're stuck at. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found some use in it. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.